So let's talk a little bit about bathroom for an RV. Now you don't really need as much stuff as um, some people would suggest. At least I don't think. Now I live pretty minimalistic. It's part of what I like about full-time RV living lifestyle. <clears throat> so I don't have a lot of stuff in my bathroom. I just have the essentials. Now you'll probably notice this device here and you'll be wondering what the heck this is. This is something I do keep in my bathroom. I don't always have it running. Um, <clears throat> this is a little black light uh, thing for catching flies. It's, it's a great fly trap uh, keeper. And uh, at the very bottom here is a sticky pad and you can always buy multiple sticky pads. Honestly, I've had this for about a year and I've only needed the one. So it's not a very high maintenance item. Um, of course, I don't have a lot of flies that ever get in here anyway. Now, um, one thing about RVs is that they're usually pretty well sealed. But sometimes you'll still have really small flies that manage to get into your RV whenever you open the door. <clears throat> There's just really no way to avoid that. So you always have a small amount of flies that will manage to come in. And instead of having a bunch of you know glue traps everywhere, I just buy one of these devices. It has a little blue light, and this little fan here sucks them down into it and pulls them into the sticky trap and that uh i find this to work very well because it lowers them in i'm spending too much time talking about this device it's really cool though uh, i'll have a link in the video description um, to the article which will have this advertised so if you want to buy the exact model i have you can but really any of these models will work <clears throat> my uh i'm fairly minimalistic so i don't have a lot of stuff you know this is basically just a bag of uh, essential things that I take with me um, when I'm traveling and I just have this happen to have this sitting here for a while because there's no real point. Normally I would put this into the uh, cosmetics bag that I like to uh, also have and I keep you know nose clip trimmer and combs and things like that in it. Honestly this isn't really that complicated. It's basically just a makeup bag mostly used by women but I find it to be very useful because they have this hook so I just leave it over here and it makes things more accessible because otherwise I have to keep things in drawers. And as you can see, the drawers are kind of narrow. So I mostly just have, you know, foot powder, cologne, deodorant, uh, extra, extra soap, and, um, you know, various other medical things. Um, mostly just toothpaste, to be honest. I don't use a lot of toilet paper, but I have toilet paper. Uh, mostly just to blow my nose. I tend to actually use baby wipes. Of course, I don't put the baby wipes into the plumbing. That would be stupid. It'll create a, uh, a backup. What I do is I throw it away in these little baggies, and I just, you know, every couple days throw out the baggies. This, uh, <clears throat> I think, is a lot more effective because the truth is that uh, holding tanks, even when you put tissue digester, which I do have, I have lots of tissue digester to uh, keep down the smell and break down the tissue, but the reality is that stuff's not that effective. And it can easily back up, uh, clog up your plumbing. So I just avoid it by only putting, you know, um, fecal matter and urine and water into my black tank. Uh, very little tissue ever. And I never have backup problems. I've lived in these RVs for years, never had a, a clogged up toilet uh, as long as I don't put anything down into the tank. So, um, I tend to use bar soaps. I found it more, more effective to use bar soaps, uh, so, which means you need a little tray here to gather the water that you know inevitably drips off of the soap. Uh, I have my shaving kit here. I have my razor and my uh, shaving bowl and soap and so forth, toothpaste, toothbrush. It's pretty straightforward. I don't have a lot of stuff. You know, I do have hand sanitizer, but I don't use hand sanitizer that that much. I normally use bar soap. It's more cost effective. And I have, you know, extra uh, backups of uh, soap. And I've written on here that these ones are antibacterial. Uh, I love these little kits, um, little uh, plastic clear makeup kits. It makes organizing things a lot more effective uh, versus just having things everywhere. So I, I like using those. Uh, but as you can see, I don't have a lot of stuff in here, so you know, I'm very minimalistic. Um, usually I'll keep extra towels up here. I currently am, I'm getting low on towels and need to do some laundry. I do have a spray bottle of disinfectant over here, just in case uh, anything back up that I need to um, use for cleaning the toilet. Uh, for mostly um, toilets need to be cleaned. 
I'm not going to lift it up because they'll look kind of gross a bit, but you know what the deal is, right? You have to clean your toilets uh, at least every week, otherwise it really builds up. And because they're plastic toilets, it'll really, uh, you know, that grime will stick into it and make it very difficult to clean it out. As I said before, I do have uh, tissue digesters in here, and um, but I don't use it that much. I also like to keep a uh, disposable fly trap. This is meant for being outside. This is mostly for if I'm camping. If I'm camping, I'll stick this out to try to attract the flies to this trap versus trying to get into my trailer. Um, fly ribbons. Uh, I also keep some of the chemical stuff down here for cleaning. Uh, Lysol can and so forth for cleaning the bathroom. And uh, a roll of, this is actually a roll of small little kitchen um, baggies, which is what I use uh, for that. <clears throat> and I have a little, uh, you'll notice a bottle of Hornet Killer down there, uh, which is also for if I'm in a rural area. I do have another um, little travel makeup kit uh, thing, which I use to just sort of keep things like creams and so forth for uh, my, my hands break out often. Uh, for the, this shower, I really don't like. I really dislike this shower. I had mentioned before in a previous video I intended to replace this with um, a more Japanese soaking tub and also take the sink and all that, that stuff out. And I just haven't got around to do it. This has been kind of a really crappy year where I needed to conserve money and um, I just decided to not make that expense. I tend to be minimalistic with my, sh my, uh, my shampoo. Uh, I just use, you know, hair and body combo, body wash. And um, what I will point out here is this cool little gizmo. Um, I can't remember. Oh, it's made by Duke Cannon. And it's basically a scrubber that put you put your soap bar. Get the thing open. You put your soap bar directly into it. And it's it saves the soap because you get it wet. And then you just rub it against your body, and it creates the uh, the soapy foam. And I find it it and that had this bar for like a whole year. I mean, think I've been showering, you know, every other day, and I still have this whole bar. Now it does take. Um, it's meant for government uh, sized shampoos, which is what Duke Cannon makes. They had bought um, factory equipment for old, like World War II era industrial government soap making. So they make a lot of these, they're advertised as being manly soaps. They sell them at a lot of truck stops. And uh, this bar has lasted a whole year, <laughs> which is crazy. Um, because this little device just, it just drains all the water off of it. So the soap doesn't break down. And it only takes enough uh, that you need to get a little ladder going. And then you can just scrub your body with this. Super useful, super great. I like it a lot. Um, now I do have the standard Airstream shower head, and at some point I need to actually spend the time to take this off, and I will eventually. Um, I'm replacing it with what I usually, um, what I tend to use, which is one of these, I have it over here, it's one of these Oxy, uh, Oxygenetics uh, Pure Shower Body Spas for RVs, and it's better because it, it helps conserve water with the spray. And it's, it's, I haven't replaced it because I haven't been doing a lot of boondocking, so I haven't needed to really conserve water. But these sorts of nozzles will quickly use up all your uh, pool uh, from your tank. Quickly take the entire tank, you know, in half an hour. And uh, the OxygenX use a lot less water and create a more powerful spray, so you don't need to use as much water. And in my prior RV, I had replaced it with the OxygenX, which is why... I say like you should do that because I've done it myself. It's much more effective and I just I haven't needed to replace it so I haven't replaced it. Uh, I don't really know why there's this bar in here. Uh, it's not something I installed. The prior owner put that in there. <laughs> I don't know what the point of having towels in here is for. So that's basically it for the bathrooms. Uh, I do have drawers and stuff over here but the drawers I mean I barely use them. Uh, they're just so small that you can't really get much in here. I mostly just keep, you know, I've got uh, some soaps over here is what I have. And I have razors. And that's basically it. So, shaving soaps is basically all I could put into that drawer. <laughs> and some razors. So, I hope that you found something useful out of this video. There's really not much to 
uh, having a bathroom in an RV. It doesn't have to be that complicated. I suppose if you're female, it may be a different situation. You want to like have a, a bunch of uh, gizmos and, and things like that. But I, I live pretty conservatively, very minimalistic. I don't have a lot of stuff in here. And I've been doing this for years. So, hope you enjoy this video and got something out of it.